up in Rogers City. Winning has become a tradition for the girls bowling team that just added some new hardware to its trophy case. Back in 2010, the Lady Hurons were able to make history, beating Sandusky to capture the school's first ever state title. This season, the Hurons looked for similar success after bowling past the Redskins in the semifinals. However, when Rogers City met Vandercook Lake in this year's finals, the Hurons came up short. Of the eight bowlers that participated in states, four were seniors and two joined the team this year, showing talent isn't lacking on this experienced team. A lot of these kids actually started when they're in you know, kindergarten, first grade, so we developed them from them. Um, and so when they get to the high school program, it's just actually you know, teaching them the finer things of bowling. These girls are like family to me because we have been doing it since we were in kindergarten. And I mean, with this group especially, these are kids that I grew up with inside the bowling alley and outside the bowling alley, which I think really helps. Next year, the Hurons will have five returning bowlers, one of which will be a senior, giving Roger City the opportunity to grow even more in the next few years as it looks to extend its winning streak to eight straight regional titles.